Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 2b of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're going to do question 7, and that is on page 49. It's from the Leaving Certificate Ordinary, Ordinary Level of 1982. And we're given a diagram here, and you can read it in the book, but basically it's given three positions, three points, P, Q, and R. And you're told that, up, that a car is moving to P at a constant velocity of 15 meters per second. It then accelerates between P and Q to a speed of uh, 25 meters per second and then it moves at a constant speed between Q and R. We're told that the total distance travelled between P and R is 980 meters and it does that over 40 seconds. So to graph this we say that we'll say it drives and hits uh, position P and it's moving at 15 meters per second here. It accelerates therefore we draw a line going upwards and then it continues at that a constant velocity towards R. Now what I've done is I've just we'll say created all the little shapes as normal we're told that the total distance from here, we're told that distance or the area underneath that curve is 980 meters, and we're told the, that the that this or the time to, uh, time elapsed is 40 seconds. So what do we do? Well, we'll say that uh, we have three regions. We'll say we have, we'll say one, two, and three, and we know that. The total distance is 980, it's equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3. But we know that each of those shapes is a each of those uh, shapes is quite regular. So for example, 980 is equal to half, we'll, we'll call this area here T1, this area here T2. So it's half the base. So the, 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 the area of this rectangle is the base by the height. So that's 15 T1, that's equal to area 1, plus the area of the, the triangle is half T1, so T1 over 2 times the height. So it goes between 15 and 25, so the height of that triangle is 10 units, plus the area of this rectangle here, which is T2 times 25. Like that. Alright, so what do we do next? We also know that the, the times, we know that T1 plus T2 is equal to 40 seconds, like that. So we could say that T1 is equal to 40 minus T2, if you want it. Alright, so we're going to rub out this, and rub out this. So then we have two equations. We have this one, call it equation 1, and this one, call it equation 2. Now look, you can solve these simultaneously if you like. Personally, I find it easier to plug 2 into 1. So I'm going to go 2 into 1. Why? Because look, up here we have two variables, we have T2 and T1, and down here we have one of those variables in terms of the other. So we'll make this equation in terms of one variable. And remember, for every variable you need two equations. So, by plugging this in here, this equation becomes of one variable and we can solve it. Or, like I said, here are two separate equations, you can solve those simultaneously and that will work too. I think this is easier, however. So we'll say 980 is equal to 15 times 40 minus T2 plus 40 minus T2 over 2 times 10 plus 25 T2 like that. Sorry about the fact that I'm, uh, we'll say my, my writing is slanted. So we'll say 980 is equal to 15 times 40. You know something, my, my arithmetic is absolutely terrible, so I'm going to do that in uh, my calculator. 40 times 15 is equal to 600 minus 15t2 plus 40 divided by 2 is 20 times 10 is 200 okay so that's 200 minus 10 divided by 2 is 5 5t2 plus 25t2 so I add the T2's together, so you have 25 minus 5 is 20, minus 15 is 5. So 5T2 is equal to, sorry, 980, and plus 600 plus 200 is 800, like that. So you know that 180 is equal to 5T2, T2 is equal to... 180 divided by 5, 
180 divided by 5, which is equal to 36 seconds. Is that correct? Just let me check here. T2 is equal to 36 seconds. Correct. And we know that T1 is equal to 40 minus T2. Therefore, T1 is equal to 40 minus 36 is equal to 4 seconds. That's correct as well. Okay, so just rub that out there. So I have 40. What's the other thing we have to get? We have to get the two distances only to get the acceleration. Okay, so just one second there now. So we need to get the acceleration. Now we know that T1 is equal to 4 and T2 is equal to 36, like that. Now how do we get accelerations? Well, we can use tangent. We know this. We've done this in many of the previous uh, examples. So I'm just going to look at triangle number 2 because that's where the acceleration takes place. Like this. This is region 2. Uh, I'm going to draw the fact that it is region 2 there like that. We know that it begins at a velocity of 15 here. We'll say that's 15. I'm just going to draw that in like that. We know this here is 25. So we know that the length of this side here is equal to 10. Like that. We know the, the length of the, the bottom here is equivalent to T1, which is equal to 4. And I'm going to call this angle here alpha. Therefore, tan alpha is equal to the acceleration, is equal to the slope. They're the same thing. So we'll say tan alpha is equal to opposite over adjacent is equal to 10 over 4 is equal to 2.5 meters per second squared. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Okay, now, just to show, by the way, that the slope is uh, the slope and the tan are the same thing. If you've done this in your geometry yet, uh, it doesn't really matter, but we'll say slope is equal to, we always say m is equal to slope is equal to like y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So let's look at it. Well, what's y2? y2 was equal to 25 minus y1, which was equal to 15, over... And now, I'm going to suggest here, I'm going to call that time is t is equal to 0. And this one here, t is equal to 4. So that's 4 minus 0 is equal to 10 over 4 is equal to 2.5, which is exactly what we did. We got a 2.5 by getting your opposite over your adjacent. Remember that it was a delta y over delta x, which is exactly what your slope is. And that's exactly what your tan is. Alright, so that's how we did our question. I hope that's reasonably straightforward. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.